Hi everyone, this is Xu Xu from Crown Home Buying and Letting, a boutique estate agency based in central London, specializing in selling and letting high-end residential homes. Today, we're back on One Park Drive and we're going to show you some amazing homes. The developer is Knair Wolf Group, who also owns the entire 128 acres privately managed Knair Wolf site. The architect is Herzog Jumuron, who also famously designed the extension of Tate Mountain. The facade of this building has a beautifully distinct character with three different typologies rotating around cylindrical tower to create incredible level of visual complexity. They recently launched the penthouse collections and the interior architecture is also designed by Herzog Jumuron, which is such a rarity. Today, we're able to show you two penthouses, both are duplexes, located on the 56th floor. The crown jewel of the penthouses is 3,904 square feet. The asking price is £9,250,000. The loss of interest on that penthouse, and we might be able to come back to show you that later. And now, if you're ready, let's get started. Now we're on the 56th floor. There are four lifts in this building. The flooring is tiled with natural stone and the door frame is curved. And you can see those gigantic doors right behind me, which is setting a wonderful tone to this beautiful home that we're about to see. There are two levels in this penthouse. On the upper level, you have two bedrooms, both with en suites and two outdoor spaces. On this level, you have the living and dining space, a guest bathroom, three utility storage cupboards. The internal size is 2,084 square feet. This is a show home. Asking price is 4,700,000 pounds. So this is a hallway. Normally, this is where you compromise between practicality and aesthetic, but not in this one. Look at this stunning spiral sculptured staircase. I absolutely love it. It's designed by Herzog Dumuron and constructed by AKT Engineering. I mean, just imagine we're on the 56th floor. The entire sculpture staircase is cast in concrete and made on site. Just the precision, the skill and the craftsmanship is just engineering feat. It's expertly rendered with this exposed concrete material, but they're very smooth and then further softened with timber treads and curved handrail, which creates a sinuous line as it's going up to the upper level. And this is an interesting fact. If you've ever been to Tate Modern, the Sweet House, you probably noticed there was a striking staircase in the center. That was also designed by Herzog de Mura. Here you go. You have the same sculptured staircase in your very own home. How interesting that is. Now let's check out the other spaces on this level.
the living room, I just want to show you this two full height white lacquered double door, which can be closed if you need some privacy for the living room. And as you can see, you have this leaf motif design, which we will see more of it throughout this apartment. And once they are fully open, they are lying flush with the wall next to it to give you that sleek look. Now we're into the living room and you can see those impressive sitting heights in this space. In fact, they are 4.1 meters. You can really feel that grandness of space and also it's further accentuated by the curve of the window with the contours of the building. And of course, all the amazing views and right behind me. At this level on the 56th floor, you are about at the eye level with these two iconic narrow wolf towers. In the evening, they will become two gigantic floor lamps for this apartment. That will be very interesting. In addition, we are northwest facing, so you get to see that famous London sunsets. But what else do you get for living so up high here? We're about 205 meters above the ground. Well, of course, you get to see the wonderful views, the curve of the river, a little bit of London Eye, the Shard, and some of the city of London. There's something else. A few weeks ago, it was very foggy in London. The visibility on the ground level was very poor. But up here, you get to see the clouds beneath you, the blue sky above you. It was like a totally different world. The sensation of living up here was truly magical. Herzog de Meuron is one of the most incredible architecture firms in the world. And they normally work on museums and major stadiums and multi-billion pounds projects. But they are actually the interior architecture for this penthouse. For example, the curved supporting walls and that standing staircase and how the rooms are designed in terms of from one to another, the flow of the entire space down to the flooring and the ceiling, all decided by them. And the interior designer for this home is Tom Dixon's research studio. They've used the minimum palette, organic materials, low level furniture and soft sculptured art to create a comfortable and cozy home while preserving its architectural concept. There's a balcony adjacent to the living room and let's go out and take a look. I really like the use of a sliding door because we're quite high up and you want to open the window, doesn't matter what kind of weather it is. With a sliding door, you can keep the door open without the wind blowing the doors. This balcony has a cantilever above it and two walls on each side to provide the seclusion feel. You can clearly see the exterior of the building which has this glazed terracotta towel and its fluted form to provide that elegant look. The balustrade is quite high as well to block you from any wind and the view in front of us is just absolutely amazing. To go with the overall aesthetic and earthy look, for the flooring on this level, they chose concrete effect, cementitious microcrete finish. It feels and looks smooth and is fantastic for underfloor heating. Of course, for this penthouse, it also has comfort cooling and it is tucked right above this wall. It also matches perfectly with the concrete ceiling. It keeps you at a comfortable temperature all year round. There's a round dining table which can sit up to eight people and with a beautiful marble countertop. Let's take a look at this kitchen. I love the beautiful simplicity of this kitchen. They use earthy materials, curved lines and unified look to create a minimalistic and timeless look. This island has soft edges and a curved line that echoes the Thames in front of us. This countertop is made from two pieces of marble and they all they matched. And this marble is from Lassa Marmo region in Italy. They're also very popular with artists and sculptors. Here's another interesting fact. The Queen Victoria Monument in front of Buckingham Palace is also made of Lassa Marmo marble. Here is a stainless steel sink and a hot water tap. So you don't need a kettle in this kitchen. 
Let's have a look at this induction hob. They use Bora brand and the benefit for that is this brand, the recess extractor fan inside the induction hob. When you're cooking, admiring the fantastic views in front of you, you don't need the extractor fan to drop down from the ceiling or coming up from the countertop to provide a sleek look. There are also lots of storage spaces on this side of the island. I particularly like the corner storage spaces and I think that's a fantastic use of the space. There's a stainless steel wine fridge here by Gagnau. In fact, all appliances are Gagnau and they're all integrated behind this beautiful oak veneer paneling. On this side, we have a full length fridge and here is a full length freezer. I was told it's more energy efficient if you have storage space between the fridge and the oven. And guess what? They have the storage space between the fridge and the oven. And I really like the design of this door. So while you're using these appliances, you can keep the door open, so it's very convenient. But when you finish using it, you can close it off to give that unified look as how we started. This is a combination of microwave and oven, and you also have a warming drawer at the bottom. And I was told the warming drawer was designed for the loved ones. But this is not the end of it. Towards the end of this paneling, here is a secret door. Once the door is open, there's no hinges on the side. That's because once it's closed, you can't tell there was actually a room in here. This is a really good size, fantastic place for multifunctional use. You can use this as a pantry because you have upper cabinets, lower cabinets, there's a sink here, and also the dishwasher is right here by Gagnau. When the dishwasher is going, while you're sitting in the living room, you can't hear any noise. And there's also a dryer and a separate washer as well. I think all the storage space design in this home and this multifunctional room is fantastic for apartment living. And now we've seen the lower level. Now let's go up to see the upper level. Love you down. Love you down. Love you I just love this sculptured staircase. And on the top, it has this curved shape, which echoes the facade of this building. Very practical as well, because you never need to polish the balustrades. When you're buying a penthouse, you're normally expecting to be on the top floor to have these fabulous views and high-end interior design. But you don't expect to get a sculptured staircase. And this staircase actually costs 300,000 pounds. I mean, that's pretty impressive, right? On the upper level, they used a wood flooring, run seamlessly into different sleeping areas to create a soft and calming sensation. And, but this is something else I want to show you, which is pretty unique. And I think when we were downstairs, when I was showing that balcony to you, you probably thought, ah, that's too small for a penthouse. But here we go, a courtyard. As we are 205 meters above the ground, you have a courtyard in the sky. Let's go and take a look. To go with the overall theme of the design, they also use double high cladding for this courtyard and it's finished with Siberian latch wood. They're extremely resilient and they're so beautiful. And it's so interesting that they also create this D shape that opens up to the sky. From where I'm standing right now, you can even see the shape that created by the change of clouds and light is so fascinating. This courtyard would be perfect if you want to entertain your friends, but also we're so high up, there's almost no sound. It would be fantastic to focus on yourself and have a meditation in here. The unique design and thought process for this space completes the architect's vision for one park drive. And it's just so unexpected for all of us. But when you have a dream team to create your dream home, they make the impossible possible. And now let's check out the bedrooms. They use spotlights for the open gallery and lots of wall space. You can display the beautiful art that you've been collecting throughout the years. 
this is the second bedroom. They use the same design for those door. And let's go in and take a look. The interior design of this room is so sleek and elegant. They use the natural materials, minimum palette, and individual pieces to really accentuate the great space and the great view. When you lay in bed, not just the views, you also get to see the curved ceiling, which creates a visual interest. They use underfloor heating and comfort cooling throughout this level. And right next to me, you have a full height wardrobe, which has the same leaf shape motif design and they're super smooth and inside they already organized the shelves the drawers the lights and hanging space and very practical here is ensuite let's take a look I really want to talk about this sandy colored plaster it's called Tadilakit plaster originates from Marrakesh region of Morocco. They're great for waterproof and got this beautiful aesthetic. To have this satin effect, silky finishing, it requires seven layers of plaster and years of practice and experience. But the wonderful effect it creates is just amazing. It's complemented by the globe-shaped sconces and curved mirror cabinets, which also has integrated demister. That means after shower, the mirror won't get misted up. And this one piece vanity unit is cast in concrete and finished with Dombrand brassware. On this side, you have enameled steel bars finished with concrete surround, and you have overhead and handheld shower. Probably from the reflection behind me, you can see the top of the glass paneling is almost touching the ceiling, and there's a tiny little gap. So the precision they put into it is fabulous. And the flooring is Carrara marble in mosaic style, and they're also fitted with underfloor heating, and some of these walls are also heated as well. Now let's look at the rest of the space on this floor. Apart from the gallery space, your dream team hasn't forgotten that you might need to work from home from time to time. And here we go, a very different home office with that fabulous view. And there's a balcony where you can access and get some fresh air and also double high floor to ceiling windows and the entire space is complemented by this drop down line from the ceiling. It looks fabulous in the evening. I really like the design of this table. It looks like a floating table from where you are right now. And through this pocket door, we're entering into the main bedroom. The use of pocket door design really enhances the fluid movement from one space to another and provides privacy when needed. But look at this space. This is the most effortlessly brilliant interior design I've ever seen. The frame of this king size bed is made from rubber coated cork, which is very soft to touch. And it's a very thoughtful design as well, because when you're bare feet walking around in a space, your toes won't get hurt by the bed frames. They also use the same material for the floating shelf, as well as this mirror frame. And the entire interior design is completed with this paper lantern. And the organic leaning material create a calming sensation. I'm a great fan of cushions and blankets on the bed, but looking at this one, it does make you think the less is more. All you need for a good night's sleep is a comfortable bed and a duvet. We've been here a few times to look at this apartment for filming and for viewings. And every time we were here, the light is so soft and gentle because this is a northwest aspect. Of course, you can fit motorized curtain, but in the morning, you don't get the sharp sunrise. If you want to wake up to the sunrise, sleep under the stars, you can easily do that. In fact, we just noticed the moon is right behind me. Look at this curved column. We've seen the overall theme of this curved edges throughout this apartment. And you understand why, because it creates a soft feel, but add depth into the space. 
And now we're into this walk-in closet area. Once again, they've paneled the entire closet with full-height oak veneer. Apart from the leaf design, there's some fantastic space already organized for you in the wardrobe. But I really like the corner design where they utilized the additional storage spaces. That's ensuite. Let's go have a look. The design of this bathroom is the same as the other one. They use tatty lacquered plaster for the entire bathroom and the mosaic flooring running into the water closet as well as the shower room. Here is a double vanity unit fitted with mirror cabinets and sconces. And now we're into the shower room, but not just one, there are two. I really like the brassware design, which creates this spa feel from a five-star hotel. Talking about five-star hotel, the residents at One Park Drive can also enjoy a 24-hour concierge, a library, a chill-out room with a coffee machine and wine dispensers. There's also a private cinema room that comes with its own bar. The state of art gym is located on the first floor. It's overlooking the greenery as well as the dock. And then you have this 20 meter swimming pool that comes with a jacuzzi, sauna, as well as lounge chairs. And then there's a south facing terrace where you can enjoy the sand bathing. Of course, it's also overlooking the dock. Now we've seen this beautiful show home. I want to show you the other penthouse, which is one of my favorites. Let's go. is also duplex with two bedrooms both with the en suites on the upper level and here you have the living and dining space at guest bathroom the internal size is 1637 square feet the asking price quite surprisingly three million nine hundred fifty thousand pounds is unfurnished but it has a great design just as the other one look at this sculpture staircase has a wonderful ebb and flow to it and over there you have the guest bathroom and storage space through this sliding door we're entering into this expensive living space what i like the most about this layout is actually the hallway aligned directly to the city tower when you come home at night you get to have that impactful sensation from the lights from the views right in front of you this penthouse has a southwest facing aspect. So we're about three o'clock in the afternoon and you can see all the lights coming into the apartment and creating this beautiful and silhouette effect in the space. And behind me, you can see the fantastic views, the curve of the river and the city of Valentin being more prominent. The interior design for this space will be a dining table right up here. Where you are right now will be your TV unit and you can put a beautiful curved sofa to go with the curve of the building and the design of the kitchen is exactly the same as the other penthouse borrow induction hub lots of marble marble the slightly different organization behind me in this wood paneling let's take a look you have the appliances over here microwave oven and a warming drawer but this one is pretty unique so let me open them up for you this door once it's open it can be slotted into the secured place and this is actually a bifolding door. Maybe it's easy if I'm standing on this side. Very easy to open. I feel like I'm opening a stage. It does give you stage looking. The countertop and splashback also from Last Marmo Marble and a storage space behind the countertop. And here is a Gagano dishwasher. And here is a fridge on the other side is the freezer also by Gagano. The space in this living room is very easy to organize your furniture and design. The lights are beautiful and also there's outdoor space. The balcony is bigger than the other one. You can see it's south facing with slight curve. You have the view of the south docks as well as the curve of the Thames. 
This penthouse is so intimate, it will be perfect for someone who doesn't need so much space but still wants to have all the features, benefits and the lifestyle the penthouse has to offer. Now let's check out the upper level. This staircase has a different form and let me know which one you prefer most. Here we are on the upper level landing area and this is a storage space where you can find a separate washer and dryer and this wall right next to me can be dressed up with some beautiful and cool art pieces. And here is a courtyard which is same as the other penthouse with the same D-shaped opening into the sky but there's a slight difference compared to the other one and I'll show you that later. And there are lots of curved edges, curved wall structure on the upper level, which is amazing. For example, where the curved edge right above me creates a fantastic and beautiful aesthetic. They use white lacquered wardrobe, which is extremely good in terms of organization behind it. Fabulous view right in front of me with the slightly curved windows and bring lots of natural light. I really like the design of this lamp. It looks extremely soothing. Around the corner is the ensuite, which had the same specification as the other penthouse. Now let's go to the main bedroom. The main bedroom also has this fantastic view, just as the other rooms in this penthouse. The wardrobe space on each side, and now we're entering the ensuite. The pocket door design once again, water closet on your right, and I really like this wooden tower wheel. It looks so authentic. Double vanity unit, cast in concrete, same design as the other. I particularly like this shower room because the curved edge, it does give this seclusion and elegant look. I did mention the courtyard was slightly different this one compared to other, and here we are. It's also connected to your ensuite. You can open it up to get some fresh air for your bathroom, which is something very good for apartment living. And I have another idea how you can utilize this space. On a warm summer day, you can put a massage bed here. That would be a massage in heaven. Now we've seen two beautiful penthouses during the day, and I want to show you the evening views, of course, while we're waiting, I want to take you to Knair Wolf and want to show you why so many people want to live in this area. Let's go! With that stunning London sunsets as our backdrop, this is end of this property tour and I hope you enjoyed it. One Park Drive is truly unique building with this distinct facade, high specification and the luxurious residence facilities. In order to best present One Park Drive, I've done so much research and worked on my script several times. Our team visited the site five times from sunrise to the sunset. We want to capture the best moment, the change of lives for you, for you to see these amazing homes and for our potential buyers to get familiar with the living experience at One Park Drive. If you're interested in this building, maybe you want to consider other property types such as one bedroom, two bedroom or three bedroom, we'll be very happy to help you to find the dream home. Thank you so much for watching. 
and if you're interested please get in touch and if you like what we do please consider subscribing and give us a like thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time